Hey everyone, welcome to my bring a trailer auction for this 1969 F350 Dually. I want to show you guys around while it's in the shop and point out a few things and uh, then we'll go, uh, we'll do a cold start on it and show you guys that and then we'll go take it down on the road and do a test drive. So uh, right now let's go dig into it and I want to show you guys a few things while it's in the shop here. Alright guys, let's go on the exterior here, give you a walk around of it. There's lots of detailed uh, pictures of this truck in the picture gallery. So uh, feel free to check those out, and uh, if I missed anything in the pictures, feel free to uh, ask for anything else you want to see on it or see more and more detail. I'll grab some pictures and post them, but uh, overall, I think I did a pretty good job taking pictures of everything, but uh, sometimes I might miss something, so go ahead and let me know in the comments if, I, if you guys want to see anything else. I want to point out some things on this truck. Uh, the exterior is repainted. Uh, I don't know when it was repainted. It was repainted when I got it. It was a pretty decent repaint, uh, pretty clean, but there was a little bit of overspray, so that gives me an indication that it's been repainted. Since I've had the truck, I've done some body work back here on the cab. I took it in a body shop. The guy I got it from put a box bed on the back off a of 250, and uh, he uh, dinged up the, kind of the cab back here when he was putting it on. wasn't very careful. There was some dents right here around the filler neck uh, as, as well as down here a little bit further and as well as the same location on the other side of the cab uh, we had those knocked out and as well as a dent that was on top of the cab up there that we had knocked out so the back of the cab and the roof has been uh, freshly repainted since i've had the truck but everything else is the way i got it uh, we did repaint the wheels as well uh, Wimb wimbledon white on the wheels same as the body color we matched matched the body color on the wheels and uh one thing that's odd on this truck I wanted to point out is uh, on the on the tag, the door tag, it says C for the paint code, and C is pure white. Uh, the exterior and interior on this truck is Wimbledon white, which should be an M. Uh, the, the exterior has been repainted, obviously, so that's not shocking. You know, a color change wouldn't be anything uh, too uh, shocking or unexplainable. But what is interesting is the interior is Wimbledon white as well. And I believe the interior to be original, original paint. So that is a head scratcher for sure. Uh, I don't have any answers as to why. But uh, we did do a little bit of touch-up work on the glove box. And it took Wimbledon white to match it. So I don't know why it's Wimbledon white with a, uh, a C on the door tag. But that is what it is. I do like the Wimbledon white paint. It looks pretty good on this truck. On the Marty report here, it shows C as well. But the Marty Report doesn't match the uh, the GVW is 8,000 pounds, but the GVW on the on the tag on the door is 10,000 pounds. So uh, just a little discrepancy there. Wanted to point that out. This is one of 25 uh, with these paint and trim codes, but since it's no longer pure white, I don't know if that really matters. I don't know, but uh, just wanted to point that out. This truck was sold new in Albuquerque, New Mexico, at uh, Frontier Motor Company. It uh, has since been moved to Oklahoma. The last two owners that I know of have been from Oklahoma. Uh, the two prior to me were closer central Oklahoma around the uh, Oklahoma City area, a little bit west of Oklahoma City, and that's where I picked the truck up. The owner that I got the truck from had not had it very long. He got it from a, a state sale, and uh, it was a welding rig uh, from that owner, or it had a welding bed on it at least. I don't know if that owner was the guy that would had the welding service, but uh, it was a welding truck in part of its life. And actually, I'll walk over on the on the other side of the cab here. I want to show you some stuff that pertains to the welding rig aspect of it. There's some welding slag on the window here. Um, I don't know when that occurred. Uh, it's like that when I got it. But I'm guessing since it was a welding truck, somebody was doing some welding that got a little bit too close to the, the window there and got some slag on the window. Uh, it's kind of it's really hard to see in pictures and video, uh, but uh, you can see it. Let's see if I can give you a better shot of it. Yeah, you can kind of see it there in that video up against the white backdrop of that door. But uh, just a little bit of slag there on the window. Uh, the front windshield is changed. It had the original glass in it. Uh, we changed out the uh, the gasket here, and uh, unfortunately the uh, original window cracked when we were changing out the gasket. So it does have a new windshield in it. Uh, and I put a new dash pad in it as well. Uh, when I got it, there was no dash pad at all, so uh, the old one was probably all cracked and uh, discolored and stuff. So uh, it didn't have a dash pad on it, so I dyed up a blue dash pad for it and put that in there. 
I did put new armrest in it because the same reason they were all cracked up and uh, didn't look good. So I put some new blue armrest on it. The floor mat is original, but it does have tears in it. I like the way the original floor mats lay on the truck a lot better. So I left, I elected to leave the original floor mat in it just so it, uh, it just, they lay down on the floor a lot better and they look, look really nice. Now the seat, I don't know if this is the original seat or not. Um, it's certainly, uh, in the, the, uh, spirit of an original seat. It has the blue, uh, just basic vinyl base model bench seat. Uh, the inside here does look original, and it does have a tag right here. So uh, I think the seat is original. I'm just not sure about the cover. If it is, uh, the, if it is original, it is in very nice shape, no tears or anything like that. So uh, that is what it is. I'll just leave you guys up to make that decision for me. Uh, the, the radio in the truck does not work. The heater works fantastic. I've used it on some of these cold days. The steering on this truck is uh, one finger steering, even though it's manual steering. It uh, steers very nicely. Doors open and shut perfect. As well as the hood. Open open the hood with one hand. Nice and easy hood, hood latch. Uh, the hood latch is painted. That's kind of another indication that it's been painted. There's some overspray on the hood latch, but everything else has done a really good job. Like this core support, it didn't get very much overspray and stuff on it, so that's kind of uh, nice to see. It's a little a nicer, cleaner paint job. Uh, this engine here, I believe it to be original, um, never been out, never been worked on. Uh, one indication that uh, leads me to believe that is there's these staples on the uh, valve cover. Those were used to hold the gasket in place when they assembled the engine. Uh, I've not seen very many of those trucks, these trucks with that gas, the staple in the gasket at all. So seeing that staple in there kind of uh, lets you know that the truck has, the, at least the valve covers have never been off of it. But the, everything else is leading me to believe this engine is original and uh, original shape. It runs really nice, uh, nice and quiet, no noise, good oil pressure. So uh, uh, it's nice to see that originality here. Uh, I have done a lot of cleaning on this. I just did some degreasing and kind of steam cleaning, but uh, no touch-up work as far as paint or anything like that. This is as as I've found it. Same with uh, same with the inner fenders here. All I've done was cleaning and stuff. Uh, I don't know if this is the original paint or not on the inner fenders. Uh, this one is a little bit worse shape than the other one, but uh, uh, everything under here is awful, awful nice and original. I have replaced the washer hose and the washer bottle and the uh, the cow seal there that is not original I replaced that cow seal but uh, everything else as far as I know is original um, you know things like the water pump and the hoses and stuff those have been replaced over the years uh, as far as uh, blemishes go there there is uh, since this paint is an older repaint there is uh, flaws in it like right here there's a little bit of paint chip and uh, there's a little bit of paint chip in the bottom of the doors from rocks hitting it over the years. Like right there, there's a little crack on the bump right there. As well as right here. A little crack right there. Uh, up here, there is some holes in the in the hood. Um, I'm guessing there was uh, some dents in the hood that were knocked out maybe when it was painted. So like right here. I'm guessing that's what these holes were. They, they knocked some holes in the in there to uh, knock some dents out or something of that nature and like right here there's a little bit of bondo poking through these holes right here but uh, there's no uh, no problem showing up on the outside here and it looks awful nice so just wanted to point that out that there was some there is uh, some stuff done to it at some point over the years over here there's some more uh, paint chips right there there's some more blemishes but overall it's a really nice clean truck and uh, looks really nice going down the road over here on the interior, it is showing 48684. We'll put a few more miles on that as the uh, weeks go by from, uh, from now until the auction. And uh, obviously when we go out and do the driving video. I did put a new headliner in it. The old one was uh, somebody painted it blue. I uh, wasn't really a big fan of that. So I did put a headliner in it. Um, like I said, not sure if this seat is original or not, but it is very clean if it is. Uh, the... the uh, the pedals do show some wear. The brake pedal there, there's some wear on the pedal. The clutch pedal looks awful nice. Um, but uh, this truck being 48,000 miles, which I'm believing to be original, uh, it being a one ton and a welding truck, I'm sure those miles were high use. So, uh, you know, 
it's it's got 14 gears in the back so it's not a highway truck it's not going to be putting on a bunch of miles on the highway but you're going to be a lot of short trips around town that kind of stuff so it would be uh, low miles but higher use would be uh, the way i would call that but uh anyway i think that's everything i want to show you on this truck in the shop we're going to do a cold start on it here and then we'll take it out and do a test drive with it well guys i'm going to do a, a cold start and pull it out of the shop here so we can go take it for our test drive see how she starts for us with the manual choke pulled out that fires right up let it warm up a little bit out of the shop got her warming up here got some condensation blowing out it's a little cold this morning but she doesn't smoke on startup running a little fast because the chokes pulled out See if she's warm enough to slow her down a little bit. So anyway guys, that's cold start. I'm gonna go uh, get it on some roads and show you guys how it drives. Well guys, it's time to do our driving video. We'll start off here with a little city driving. Now this truck does have 410 gears, so it's uh, it's not quite as bad as usual one tons. A lot of one tons have 456, this has 410. So uh, it's not exactly a highway gear, but it's not exactly a super low crawler gear either. It's kind of middle of the road. It does all right, does, does really good in the city. It does all right on the highway. We'll take it on uh, take it on a little bit of county roads, and uh, you'll get to see it on the highway and see how it does. But uh, for now, we're just driving around city streets. It does a great job. Steering is really light and uh, easy, even going at slow speeds. And uh, the brakes are are firm. The pedal is firm, and uh, it stops really easy and straight. It doesn't pull to one side, one way or the other. It does not have uh, power brakes, but the, uh, the mechanic or the manual brakes work really good on this truck. So, so that's nice to see. Braking effort is not that hard. We're gonna get out of town here a little ways and uh, get the speeds up a little bit. I'm in the fourth. Give you an idea, shift it in the fourth at about 30 miles an hour. Roll the window up here so it doesn't get too noisy in here. Uh, this truck drives down the road straight. It doesn't pull uh, left or right. Like I said, the steering is awful easy. Even though it doesn't have uh, power steering, the, the manual steering is in really good shape and it's really tight and uh, you don't have to fight it steering it anyway. But, uh, Going, uh, we're going about 45 miles an hour right now. Cruising pretty happily there. Let's see, you know, going down the road off the straight, you can take your hand off the wheel uh, if you need to. And uh, it doesn't pull, like I said. Nice and quiet in here. You don't, uh, you don't hear much of the exhaust at all. You hear uh, mostly the fan running up front because it's got a uh, uh, full speed fan on it. No, there's no uh, clutch on it. So. We're going to work our way out of town here and get up to speed a little faster. Well guys, as we, as we make our way outside of town, I wanted to point out that uh, I didn't show any footage from underneath the truck, but I did take lots of photos from under the truck that are available for viewing in the photo gallery. Uh, 
please take a look at those pictures and those are my favorite uh, that's my favorite thing about this truck is how nice and clean the underside of the truck is uh, it still has the red oxide paint on most of it uh, some of it has been covered up with a little bit of paint but uh, it's still really good shape no rust uh, one of the better trucks i have found in my uh, bump side adventures i uh, hate to see this one go but uh, i'm happy to bring it to a new owner and uh, just a reminder this truck has no reserves so it will sell at uh, the hammer whatever whoever's the high bidder will take it home so uh we've made our way outside of town a little ways here we're going we're got up to 50 by now uh it uh, cruises happily at 50 or 55 uh, you get up about 60 65 and it is a little bit uh, you're running the engine a little fast uh you can do it uh it just it's a lot happier about 50 to 55 which is a pretty good speed for these old trucks it's pretty smooth on uh, pavement roads. You get a bump like that, uh, it does the, the back end does a little firm because it's a one ton, but uh, it does all right on uh, on smooth roads. Now we're going about 55. I don't know if you can hear how fast the engine's running. Probably not, but uh, overall it goes down the road awesome. Drives great. I uh, love the way this thing's driven. I've actually put about 100 or so miles on it since I've. Uh, we did it with the van and everything, uh, and uh, it's just a blast to drive. I want to keep driving it, and uh, it's uh, it just takes a little bit longer to get places, but uh, this is an enjoyable place to be in, you know. So it's that's all right with me. But uh, we're gonna make our way back to the shop, and I'm gonna go through uh, the features and everything with this truck, and uh, show you guys everything on it that's so working and not working, and uh, then we'll call it a video. So. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll head back to the shop and uh, we'll go through all the features and everything on this truck. Well guys, we're back in the shop. I'm going to do a rundown of uh, the features on this truck and uh, show you everything's working. First, we'll start with marker lights. We have uh, the bed marker lights. Now these these ones right here are not wired up. I didn't think uh, that was necessary since they're like behind the cab. I just kind of left them there as kind of a reflector. But uh, everything else is wired up. We got that one. Got our tail lights, our marker lights back here. Obviously those two marker lights. The side marker there. All five of the cab lights are on, and then the marker lights down here. Go ahead and turn our headlights on. Both headlights work. High beam and low beam. Uh, the, uh, the gauge cluster light works, and the dimmer. The interior light works, dome light. Let's see, the radio does not work, but the radio light does come on. And the, uh, um, the uh, heater control lights come on. Moving on to the wipers. Wipers are working, as well as the washer fluid works. High and low, I guess. Next up, we'll go blinkers. Left blinker. See, this one's working. Uh, 
right blinker. Show you up here up front. Let's see brake lights. See both brake lights are on. See reverse lights. And the reverse lights are on. All right, moving on from that. We have the horn. That works. Um, the uh, blower. Let me turn the, the blower works. All the speeds. The uh, defrost slide works. Heat off. And then that changes the temperature, obviously. The uh, glove box, the key works for the glove box. Now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. And as well as the, uh, the ignition key does lock and unlock the doors. So all that is uh, as it would, would be. The uh, parking brake the parking brake does work. I can't really show you that. But it does work and lock into place and release. And uh, if you notice the uh, this tank valve here, there is not an auxiliary tank anymore, so it is bypassed and not used anymore. So uh, it it might function. I haven't tested it. If you wanted to put another, it had a saddle tank on the side here is what it had. But if you wanted to put something like that on it, but other than that, I think that's everything. There's not many options to go over on this thing to test, but. Well, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or send me a message. I'll be able to answer any questions you have. And if I don't know the answer to it, I'll try to find them out for you. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this truck as much as I do. And I hope the new owner will enjoy it uh, for years and years to come. Go bid and uh, have fun. Thanks, guys.